Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be my first video of uh, 2021 and I have certain plans uh, on which I will be bringing video this year. So probably I will be bringing more videos on real time use cases and also I will be putting a small videos on a small small topics. Those video will not uh, be more than uh, five minutes. It will go maximum five minutes. And it will be uh, based on uh, some of the small, small topics or small, small coding uh, algorithms. For example, like uh, how you can perform data cleaning, how you can perform feature engineering, and it will cover one, one topic each in each of the video so that anybody can go directly on my channel and can see those video and can apply directly for their own purpose. And the purpose for making the video sort for those things are uh, because the video will be short, it will not take much time for you guys to go and check the video and use the code directly. So uh, that's the plan for this year. Um, hoping I will uh, cover everything this year, whatever I have thought of. So let's begin. Uh, today's uh, video is going to be on uh, marketing or sales data analytics. So I will be finding out some of the insight from the data. So I have listed out few of the questions. Uh, that you can see on my screen so whatever i am going to find out from the data so it is like top 10 products for sales top 10 selling products what is the sales trend what was the best month for sales how much we have earned that month month uh, what city uh, uh, sold the most product what time should we display advertisement to maximize likelihood of customers buying product what products are more often sold together so probably i will try to cover all these seven questions in the same video or if it, if it will take more time it will come as two part and also my plan is to make a app uh, by using a streamlit library so that uh, somebody can directly go upload their sales data and can get answers of all these questions so uh, let's begin this is my data sorry for the noise uh, i guess some plane is passing through my area so anyways so this is my data and if you see whatever the variables i have i have order id product uh, quantity ordered uh, price price for each of the uh, product what is the order date what is your purchase address so if you see uh, we have uh, only uh, one two three four five five variables five or six variables but this order date is very important order date and purchase address we can derive many of the other variables from this one particular variable so let's start uh, this is the self info uh, you know that dot info will give you the information about uh, what is the data types how many uh, entries you have how many columns you have so you will get all the information you have what, whatever you have in your data you can also use this save command to check how many rows and columns are available in your data uh, this is going this is kind of a data cleaning we are checking how many null values are available across whole data set so let me run that so if you see there are 900 values which are null across all over the variables so at this point of time i am not applying any uh, algorithms to fill this uh, null values i am di directly dropping those variables right now so i am using drop any command for that you can simply uh, use data.drop na and it will drop all the null values so let us check whether now if any uh, null values are available over here so for that i can again run this uh, is na dot sum command and if you see there is no null values available earlier it was 900 now it is zero so let me see the head of my data so this is my head of the data Head will give you the top uh, five rows from the whole data set so let's begin so my first task is to so now basically what i'm doing i am creating uh, different features or if i say i am doing the exploratory data analysis and i am creating new new features uh, which i am going to use in my future uh, analysis so let's begin uh, i am firstly uh, extracting the month from this order date uh, column if you see uh, if you check the month is four if the likewise there will be six seven eight so four means like january february march april this is for data is for the april month so let's get that month data so this is the command 
you can uh, use month pt to date time if your data is not uh, in the date time format you have to convert your uh, column into date time format and then you can extract your uh, month from that because if you see my whole data is in um, float type so i have to convert an object object is basically a string if you can say so i have to convert that thing first into my uh, date time uh, format and then i can extract the month value from that particular column so let's run that command so it is running through it will take some time because uh, it is first converting all the all the values and uh, going to check uh, uh, which are the values are uh, matching with the month thing and then it will particularly extract that value so we will hold for some time and probably we will get the result so still running uh, because we have a lot of amount of data because we have 186850 rows available over here so that's why it is taking some time so yeah so now my data has uh, command has run through and we got the values over here if you see here it is showing uh, month as 4 if you want to see uh, more record uh, just uh, let me show you that also let me see uh, 50 records so now if you see all are coming forward because uh, all are from the four months so uh, let me again uh, extract the my new task is to extract the city this is the city and this is the state uh, because i have to also find out okay which city is uh, giving more sales or from where the people are ordering more so that's why i need this uh, city uh, from this whole address so for that i have created two of the functions uh, one is to get the city this uh, los angeles and another was is to get this estate ca so if you see uh, this is for the city this is for the st uh, state and uh, let me run that and then probably i will apply this in our data set and let me show you the data now how it is looking so if you see now we have our month we have our city but we don't have our state because we have not yet applied the function state on our data set so let me apply that and uh, you will get the state also over there as a variables so what we have done uh, we have all, we have created three new variables out from our order date and the purchase address so now our task is to find out the total sales value because we don't have the total sales value we have the quantity ordered we have the uh, price for each of the values but we don't have the social total sales amount so probably what we will do we will multiply these two things create a new a new columns which will give us the total sales value so let me do that so this is the command which we'll do and this is also going to uh, cover our first question what was the best month for the sales how much we have on that month so let me run that command and so this is the whole uh, sales value if you can see here uh, we have multiplied those two things and this is the value we are showing so let's see now we have the whole uh, sales value for each of the order let me see uh, which are my top 10 products so what i have done i have done just filtering on whole of the data i have grouped my uh, data with product we have this product uh, variable or product uh, column over here so i have just grouped the whole data set with the product i have taken the sum of the cells and i am doing into the descending order so usually this is ascending is true if you want to do it in <coughs> descending order you have to mark it as a false and i'm just showing you head of 10 so that it will give you the top 10 products where the cells are high so let me run that so this all products are showing here which are having the highest sales value simply i can again find out which are my top 10 selling products for that again i am doing the group by command i am group by with the product and i am putting a sum uh, with the quantity order how many quantities uh, are ordered for each of the product and again i am sorting it with the ascending it equal to false that means we are sorting it in a descending order so let me run that and you will see okay this 
AA AAA batteries, AA battery, USB C charging cable, lightning charging cable. These are our high selling products because people are uh, ordering these products in a higher quantity. So, likewise, you have got two of the answers from our whole data set what are my top 10 products for sales? What are my top 10 selling products? So, now uh, I am just doing some group by on the month because you have to also figure it out okay for which month the product or the sales was high so this will give you the result for okay how much the sales for each of the month wise so for that i have created a line graph uh, where you will see um, for which month what was the sales and what is the trend going on so let me run that and uh, okay so let me run first this because that plot command was there and then let me run that okay so if you see uh, in the four months the trend is very high again it is going down from the 8th or 9th yeah, it means uh, august or september month and again at the end of the year the uh, product selling is very high it is going high into 12 because uh, December month is for the Christmas giveaways uh, so the people are buying a lot at that point of time but if you see between from uh, 6 to 9 uh, 6 is like uh, June July and August September the sales are very much low so this is this is a very good uh, insight that we got we have got we have got understanding okay uh, at what time if we see more advertisement more offers people are going to use those offers to buy the products and if you're showing the offers probably if people are going to buy five quantity and if we are giving the offers to them probably they can go and buy 10 quantity or more than that so likewise uh, we can utilize this result for our business perspective in any of the ways similarly if we if your uh, business asks you to create a bar graph out of it you can simply create a bar graph uh, from it and you can show this uh, bar graph the, again if you see in the four months our bar is very high in the 12 months or if, if i say from the 10 to 12 months the bar is showing very very high because at the end of the month people are ordering a lot so and uh, now i have to figure it out okay now uh, which city is uh, buying or which city is selling more products so again i have used a group by command i have uh, grouped by the data with the city and putting the sum over there so let me run that and uh, this is the result you will get and again i will uh, create a bar graph out of it to show you okay which city is uh, buying how much products so let me do that and after running the thing if you see san francisco the sales are very much high it means people are buying a lot from this city similarly this los angeles is very much high it means people are buying a lot from this city so likewise if you have different different area reasons you can plot this graph and you can understand okay uh, where my um, uh, products are selling more or where it is not selling more what is the reason behind that is there any problem with my product or is the problem with my sales team you can go and check with them you can find the insight from there and you can uh, make your further business decisions how we can proceed further and again the next uh, will be this is a very important question what time would we display advertise to maximize likely of, of buying products like um, this is very very important in terms of marketing or sales thing because what we are uh, going to find out here what is the exact time when we can uh, show some advertisement through mail through our social networking or any of the way we are sending uh, sending those advertisement to customer so that they can directly utilize this uh, advertisement or coupons whatever for the purchasing thing so this is very very important and uh, probably uh, from this on i will be uh, covering in my next video um, and then I will show you okay how we can do all those things and I also have to build an application out of it so yeah um, keep watching keep supporting this video and this year we are going to solve lots of uh, use cases real-time problem statements and because what I have uh, observed there are n number of uh, 
teaching things or uh, what I say, uh, topic wise uh, videos available, but there are very less people we, who are doing use case related videos because this is important. When I'm working as a data scientist or data analyst, I have to perform this sort of task. And if any video is helping me to understand or anywhere I'm getting those sort of quotes, I can directly utilize it for my own purpose. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, please watch, please support this channel. And I'm thinking, yeah, this channel will be very, very helpful for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. We'll meet into next video. Thank you.